Whitechapel again excited. From the New York Times, November 22, 1888. Recorded for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett. Whitechapel again excited. London, November 21st. Great excitement was occasioned this morning when it was reported that another woman had been murdered and mutilated in Whitechapel. The police immediately formed a cordon around the premises, and an enormous crowd soon gathered. It was learned that another murder had been attempted upon a low woman by a man who had accompanied her to her lodging, but that in this instance his work had been frustrated. According to the woman's story, the man had seized her and struck her once in the throat with a knife. She had struggled desperately and had succeeded in freeing herself from the man's grasp and had screamed for help. Her cries had alarmed the man and he had fled without attempting any further violence. Some of the neighbors who had heard the woman's screams followed the murderer for about 300 yards when he disappeared from their sight. The woman says she is fully able to identify the man and gave a description of him to the police. The police are hopeful of soon capturing him. And later. Investigations by the police showed that the Whitechapel woman who reported this morning that she had been attacked by a man who went to her lodgings with her is of the lowest order. She suffered only a slight abrasion of the skin on her throat, and the police placed no credit in her story of an attack. They believe that she inflicted the injury herself while she was drunk. End of article. This recording is in the public domain.